Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello and welcome to QuickBooks Online 2013. Today we will be covering the section called the reports. That's right, under reports, pretty much like all sections, first thing I want to show you is you can rearrange the menu. Uh, that's right, you can customize which reports you want to have first, second, third. I'm okay with the default, but I did want to show you this one more time. I'm going to hit cancel for now, but you can rearrange this. All right now, I'm going to show you the first section that I really want to show you, which is called Company Snapshot. And what's nice about this company snapshot is that it gives you a visual of how your income and how your expenses are looking. With this pie chart over here, it even points out where you bring in the most income to the least and where you spend the most expenses to the least as well. And if you hover over any of these options here, it will simply go into a detailed report. So over here, it showed you all the sales receipt of how we accumulated for that event. I'm going to hit the backspace. Same thing over here. I can pretty much click on any of these and it will give me a detailed report. If I scroll down a little bit, the next two columns over here are previous year income comparisons. Now, because this is my first year tapping into QuickBooks Online, I don't have anything previous to show and I didn't really bring in all my stuff as I'm using this as an example. Uh, but the idea is that it will show you in January how much money you brought in versus this January. So it gives you a year to year comparison. Pretty cool stuff. And if you scroll down a little bit more below, it's going to give you a quick glance of accounts receivable, who owes you money, and accounts payable, who do you owe money to. Of course, once again, I can click on any of these. It will give me a more detailed report and go right to it. And this is why I like Company Snapshot. Uh, it just gives you a really quick overview and really quick access to get to what you want to get to. Maybe not even realizing what you want to get to. So look at Company Snapshots. You may find some hidden treasure there. And the next thing I want to show you is the Company Scorecard. Unfortunately, it was working. It's not working now. QuickBooks is aware of it. They've been working on it. Uh, but the idea of the company scorecard is that it measures your company versus the industry. So for example, if you're a CPA, it's going to compare your business to all the other CPA businesses out there and let you know how you're doing, whether you're a rock star CPA or whether you're a rook and you better buckle up and go and get some more clients because you're behind the curb. You may just be okay with that, but at least it will let you know where you stand. Uh, check this out as soon as they have it working again, and we may bring this up in a later video. Next thing I want to jump into is report list. Anytime you're looking for a specific report, you can pretty much find everything over here under report list. You have today, last five days, and of course the main thing, categories. So if I click customers, you'll see it'll go right into customers. I have all my different reports, vendors, sales tax, and so on. Uh, this is a really good place to look at all your reports. Okay. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to customize and memorize your report. So under company, I'm going to go to profit and loss. You will see I have my profit and loss over here. First thing I'm going to do is go to Customize. And under Customize, you'll notice on the right hand side it says General. Same thing on the left. If I hit Rows and Columns, it will bump this up. Or I can use the scroll features to List, or if I hit List. So this makes it kind of easy to jump right where you want to jump into. And of course, feel free to update anything you want. Feel free to play with it. Uh, what I'll do right now is scroll down over here. And we'll add a year-to-date comparison and percentage of income. 
I'm going to deactivate all zeros, so I don't want to see any zeros. And I will hit Run Report. I'm actually going to change this to last month. Hit Run Report. And what I'm basically doing over here is I'm comparing my P&L for last month versus the whole year. And of course, you got your percentages and so whatnot. And the idea is that if this is the kind of report I want to run frequently, which is compare last month versus a year total, this would be a report that I memorize. Okay, so I will hit Memorize. I will call it Profit and Loss last month plus year to date plus percentage. It doesn't really matter. The idea is what I'm showing you. You can add this to a group. I don't have a group. But you can create a group called Profit and Losses, and you can have 10 different versions of how you like to see your profit and losses. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to save it alone. I'll hit OK. Of course, I'm going to replace it because I've already created one. And ta-da! We have ourselves a memorized report. If I go over here to Memorize Reports, you will see that I have my report. Of course, at the end, you could send an email. You could send it to Excel. If you need some more tips, you can click on this. Or, of course, just visit our forum, ask us a question. We will make you a video. Cut to the red tape. Yes, you can go to QuickBooks, but we are here to help you as well. So, folks, that's pretty much it. This takes care of this video. We will have more videos, more detailed on more other stuff. But this gives you an overall glance of how reports work. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.